Sister Bonnie. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing great. Sister Bonnie, I ain't been here in a long, long, long time. I didn't need a haircut so bad. Let me see your hair. Okay. Oh, I think you qualify. I qualify? You qualify. Good, good. <laughs> My name is Lee McCoy. Uh, I'm homeless. I'm trying to get my feet back on the right track. I just needed my haircut, a new look, a new outlook, you know, make my day a different day, you know, something different. <laughs> Many times the children look like they really are in need of a haircut. My name is James Westmoreland. I'm Donovan's uncle. And he's like in between homes right now. This is our second visit here. I hope. It'll be the last for the reason that we will have homes by the next time it's time for us to get haircuts. My name is Nathaniel Pitts. I've been around the area of Cincinnati for 60 years. My name is Terry Stonebutter, and I heard about Francis's haircuts about, uh, in about 2002 from someone at the drop-in center. Been here, living here in Cincinnati for the last three years. My name is Roy Vega, so I moved down here and at one point I had some bad luck and I'm trying to work my way up now. My name is Charles R. Vaughn and I found out uh, about the Franciscan haircuts uh, through the shower house. Well, my name is Queen Celestine Levy and um, I was sitting in the shower house and uh, I heard a lady come in and say something about hair. And they said, well, you can go get your hair done for free. My name is Harvey Frank Durrett. Uh I found out from haircuts from the heart because I, I was uh, homeless and I used to go to the shower house. My name is James Brown. And uh, I'm a homeless, homeless West End man downtown that stays in the drop-in center. I had an apartment, and the health department closed the building down. So right now I'm temporarily in the shelter until I can find somewhere else to rent me an apartment. It's just a circumstance right now. It's a little stepping stone because I have a job, I work. I have a companion that works along with me, so we're not going to be homeless too long. I live in, in Covington. I come all the way over here to get a haircut across the bridge through the city. Walking. Okay. I think they do a good service for men and women both who don't have the money for higher priced haircuts. I'm Ruth Boat. I've been doing hair for over 50 years. In the last 15, I've been volunteering. And most of our clients uh, are homeless, out looking for a job. So they have to look nice if they want to have anybody hire them. And if it's your time, you can get the haircut, shave, or your mustache around. And she'll ask for a donation. If you don't have it, you just can back, come back sometime and stuff, you know, bring something with you the next set. When I want my haircut, I bring a bag of cans down here, and I get my haircut. I didn't have the donation to give them, but they offered to give me the haircut, and I appreciate that very much. We get a little donation. It's a blessed service. I had just a couple of dollars. I couldn't think of a better place to put it at. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go on a job interview, and you know, when you go for a job interview, you, you want to look as best as you can. So, you know, she, she took care of me up top. My hair would probably be long all the time because I wouldn't have the money to go to these other places. Well, I'm going to get a perm. Uh, she said usually if she had more time, I could get a perm and get my hair done. And I only had 40 cents. She took how much does something like that normally cost? About $25 to $125, depending on where you go. I asked her if I could, you know, clean the place up, you know, as payment. Right. She said I didn't have to. Everyone has to sweep up their own hair. We say it, it helps them to improve their golf swing. I'm treated like I'm family. She cut my hair and, 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 and blessed and prayed for me and sent me on my way. What she's doing, she don't have to do. And uh, you don't misuse nobody that's doing something for you. Put a smile on my face. It's a blessing, period. If I was to ever hit a rich or hit the Powerball or something, I would never forget these places that, that helped me when I was down. You know something? And, and it's truly a blessing. So when I, when I do make it in life, I will be back no matter what. Because I came here being treated right. She's great. She's, she's superb. If we do have homes, we will come back and see Sister Bonnie just to visit. It is so interesting, not only watching the child's face, but watching the parents' face as they see their child get a haircut. It's absolutely delightful. You that like looks that? good, Sister Bonnie. Thank good. you. You're welcome. When she gets done, you look good. Or oh, I look good. <laughs> look at me. Oh, looks good. Thank you. 
Thank you for coming. Lord, I feel like a brand new man. Mm, mm, mm. What a wonderful day.